What is up, family? All right, so for those of you that are curious as to how I've been making my protein sludge, this video is for you. So right now we have the ingredients, and I'll show them to you. Quest salted caramel, Skippy natural honey peanut butter, and then I have this optimum nutrition performance whey isolate. It's the chuck. Oh, well, it's not doing the chocolate shake container that I'm gonna put it in. It should be this right here. I love using these little Asian spoons. All right, and then I'm gonna need this right here. The scale. Set it on the scale. Turn it on. It'll tear it out. I'm gonna weigh out the protein. Um, I've been using one serving of both, but I think on this one I'm gonna use a little less, just so it's, instead of 58 grams of protein, I'm gonna cut it down to where it's closer to like 40 to 45. So I'm gonna weigh that out and put it in here. So we'll go one full serving of Quest. Right here. And one of the reasons why I weigh it is because as you'll see, I'm not even gonna fill this whole thing all the way up. And it says that one serving is 28 grams. And watch this. So that was part of a, not even a full scoop. Switch over the mode here. Add on milliliters. Say 27 grams. If you were to not use the, uh, if you were to not use the um, scale, and all you did was completely use the scooper, it'd be like 38 grams. So I'm gonna use one serving is 38 grams, but I'm actually gonna use 25, so I can use 10 less grams of protein. So it's not a. Uh, it's just less. So it's less protein. It so it doesn't eat into my whole daily thing so much. Save the peanut butter for later. Put it on afterwards. All right, time to mix it up. So we got all the ingredients here inside of the bowl, as you've seen, weighed out. I have my water right here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it in. I already know roughly how much to add since I've been making it for the last three or four days, but um, for the desired consistency, only add a little bit at a time. If it's too liquidy, it doesn't give you the same satiated feeling of like you're eating something. If it's nice and sort of thick and like pasty, then it, like you're chewing on it more like, and it just, I don't know, it just, it takes longer to eat, so then it makes you feel fuller, which I enjoy. Um, and it's like sort of eating like a, I don't know, like a chocolate candy bar or whatever. It depends on what flavors. You can use those any of the proteins you like. Um, I was doing it with just the salted caramel, but I noticed I liked the chocolate taste. So the other day, I just happened to try it because I had the chocolate sitting around, you know. Um, yeah, so there we go. So now we get to mix it up. That's it, totally mixed up, finished. That's what it look like. In here, get a scoop. It's 32 gram. I'm gonna go ahead and set that on top of here. All right, that is it, all done. And yes, I did put plastic on top of it because I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Go ahead and put that on here. Spin it around. Put it in the fridge. So that is it. Protein pack. And uh, it's got fat in it too. Um, lately what I've been doing, I've been liking to eat my breakfast with protein and fat. So that's like a perfect breakfast tastes great keeps me full for you know three to four hours and I need to eat my next my next meal I generally try to eat every three to four hours and um, the goal is to get between 40 and 50 grams of protein each time 
Um, for a while there, I was making it a little, a little bit more protein. It was getting like 58 grams, but then it would like it affect how I separate the rest of my meals. So uh, yeah, that's why I cut down on the amount of chocolate. But give that a try. Let me know what you think, how it tastes. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.